Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium where I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is the debut of a new game on the channel. Destiny 2, I think it's a debut. Could be wrong. Destiny 2, and the song is called Journey, featuring Kronos Quartet. This is composed by Michael Salvatore, Skyluin, C. Paul Johnson, Rotem Moav, and Pieter Schlosser. And this is from Michael Salvatore's channel. 2 million views. Now, uh, oh, by the way, this is requested by Cole and Michelle. Thank you. So before I get started, Destiny is one of those games where I've just heard about and know nothing of. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is one of the more recent titles, like in the past. And by recent, I mean like 10 years. I'm kind of using a huge window. And... I just know it's huge. I think it may be a shooter, and that's as far as I know. Um, there's like no info here in this thing. And either way, I don't really like to know too much info anyways. Either way, it's a big deal. I know it's a big deal. And uh, that's it. So my, I believe my introduction to Destiny 2. I don't even, I really did not look up if I've done the other ones. So either way, Journey from Destiny 2. Let's go. It is not my introduction to Destiny 2. I just looked it up. More on that later. Definitely a quartet sound. It feels heavy. Like I shouldn't be smiling or something. It just feels just heavy. Ooh. Oh, that actually. That was recorded really well. It sounds so clean. Choir. The octave went up. The violins are higher now. Same notes, same melody, but we are now higher. I love that. Playing with octaves is such a cool, subtle change, but it does such a big difference. This sounds deep.
very heavenly, but not necessarily in a good way. Ooh. A little mood change. Oh, that was nice. Core change. Will it go back up? Interesting time signature on the percussion. It almost sounds like it's meant to make you not comfortable. snares now. Whoa. <laughs> Everything just filled up all at once. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Oh. Damn, dude. What a mix of emotions. The percussion sounds really aggressive. Like they sound like attacks. So I'd like to correct myself. I've heard of Destiny two times prior. It was um, the first one was Destiny Rise of Iron and it was Sepix Redux, which was like a metal song from a guest guitarist. Um, and then I heard Shell of What Was 3. So excuse me on that. Um, <laughs> I don't remember Destiny music sounding like this. But what a journey, no pun intended. I, I feel there are some songs on this channel. I don't know the percentage, but there's just sometimes I get like a quote unquote vision or something that I see from the music. Sometimes I just don't and I just hear, you know, notes. Sometimes I get feelings specifically, but not maybe a scenery. This one, I felt that it fit the title very well. And when I say that, uh, it feels like, cause, cause it's just one word, right? Journey. It's almost kind of mysterious. It's like, what does that mean? You know what I mean? What journey? What was the journey? Like, what are they referring to? And to me, it sounds like the whole game wrapped up. Like this was the journey of this title. So it sounds very end game to me. I'm just making a guess. I don't know if it could be the beginning. It could be some middle scene somewhere. But the way it felt to me was definitely towards some kind of conclusion and the journey's over type of thing. 
And the reason I really felt that was because of the the chord choices, the feel of it overall. There wasn't really a sense of like hope or anything. It felt like a almost like a bitter end. And I don't mean that in a bad way, right? I'm just saying like sometimes songs are meant to make you feel kind of uncomfy or what have you, whatever the case is. And this one, and I'll tell you why, there's a reason why I felt this, is because, um, you know, uh, I, I've noticed that throughout the time of me recording these is like I'll have kind of like a blank face and just because it's just my normal face. And I've been trying to like practice just kind of like having a smirk or a smile just as a, you know, as my blank expression. And I was trying to do it here, but it felt it felt wrong to like smirk or smile through it. And that's why I felt like in my in my gut that maybe I shouldn't be, you know, I didn't feel like I should be, <laughs> you know. So the, yeah, the chord choices and everything kind of hinted to me at this kind of Maybe not sad per se, but let's just say not good to put it in a kind of a blanket statement. Very vague, but I do like the choice of the octaves being used at the beginning where I was like, doo, 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 and then later on I was like, da, da, da. same notes, same family, just a, a higher uh, way of hearing it to put it, to put it simple. And I love that. I, I use I use that a lot. It's a, it's a really effective technique, even though it's extremely simple. The choir was really nice. It was following pretty much along with uh, the main. Da, da, da. Do, 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 do. Percussion. Percussion was very interesting in this one. Because it felt very raw and aggressive. I think it was, at first I thought it was that big drum that like you hit on the side, which I don't know the name of. But I think it's one of the, I don't know the names of any of these. But I think it's one of those percussion drums that you see in like big orchestras. They're like huge drums, literally. And you, uh, I mean, I think you hit them with like a mallet of some kind, but they're huge. Really, really wide. It's like a floor tom, but like times 10. That's what it sounded like, just kind of like boom, boom. I think I've seen those mostly in like Asia. I could be wrong about that. Um, but, but the sound of it was really aggressive and it kind of had like this like punch to it. It wasn't really, bassy or anything it was really like cutting through hard like almost like when i said attack it's like like you can almost feel it like almost in a bad way not a bad thing the whole thing felt very heavy to me i kept saying that over and over and that kind of goes with the whole me like trying to smile and just kind of like mm -hmm. but it felt very ugh, you know I really liked, uh, there was one section, I don't remember what it's, I don't remember how it sounded, I just remember it happened, and it was where the percussion was following the string section. It was like doing the exact same rhythm, I think it was like a dun 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 dun. Which by the way, the whole thing kind of reminded me of the Terminator soundtrack, kind of, just because of the, the string sound and because of the percussion sound, which are two big things in that, in that theme. And then later, which I think was like the peak of the song. It was very late. It was like almost six minutes in or like the climax. That's when the snare came in very late. You know, now it sounded kind of like a kind of like a rock song in a way. But it was only there for such a brief amount of time. Like if that's where everything filled up and it was really, you know, big and, you know, everything is here now. But it didn't very it didn't last that many, many bars. And then before you know it, like we're going down again. So the whole song felt like a steady climb, climax for just a bit, and then and then everything kind of just like slowed off and, you know, the end. So it was quite a journey. Now, <clears throat> it was enjoyable, and I have nothing bad to say about it, but I just want to like reiterate that. It, it doesn't feel, the biggest thing I got from the song is the feeling. It felt not good. <laughs> And purpose, like with uh, purposely not good. Uh, I don't know who the Kronos Quartet is. I don't know who, um, who these composers are, but they are extremely talented. And you know what's funny? I just realized as, as I was reading the title, Journey, that is, uh, what's the what's the word I'm thinking of here? It's, uh, it's, it's a very big synonym of destiny, All right? Is that, it's, I, I don't know the exact definition differences, but when I think destiny well actually no oh 
<laughs> I just caught something. I was about to say, I don't know if there's a difference between those words, but I, I'm pretty sure there is. And that's destiny is your destined location, the end, the goal, right? And the journey is the... Ah. Hmm. Okay. So it's not just really a synonym, but more... It's related, but not... Oh, that's cool. Damn, video game music is cool. <laughs> I love little revelations like that. Great, 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 great. Um, well, the, the journey of <laughs> Destiny continues. There's still more Destiny songs. Quite a bit, actually. I don't know how many Destinies there are either, but it, seem, it seems like most of my requests are from two. So let me know more about this game. Let me know where it plays or any of that. Was I close? Was I off? And a uh, big thanks to uh, Michael Salvatore's YouTube channel. Whew. Thank you again, Cole and Michelle, for the request. And thanks to you for watching. Thanks to everyone that you see on the screen. I cannot be here without them. I greatly appreciate it. My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. Take it easy. Video game music rules. Peace.